As a colorist, you are primarily going to be taking raw or log footage and normalizing it. And essentially what that means is you will take it from what the camera saw to what your display can show. We're going to take this footage from this kind of gray, flat, lack of detail look to this in just a few minutes. And we're going to do all of this using lift, gamma, and gain, and offset. Now to give you an idea of what those are and what they do, offset is kind of a global parameter. And what that means is anything that you do here will affect the video clip across the board, whereas lift, gamma, and gain are your luminance dials. To break that down and kind of simplify it, lift will affect your shadows, gamma your midtone, gain your highlights. The act of normalizing a video clip is essentially taking it from what the camera saw to what your monitor can display. The very first thing I want to do with this video clip is introduce some contrast. And a really good way to do that is going to be affecting my lift and my gain. We're going to alter those a little bit. I'm using a control surface. Normally you would just grab these with your mouse, click on them and drag them whichever way you wanted. I use a control surface to do this, so it's essentially doing the same thing. I just have a dial that acts as my mouse. We at this point have created a pretty dramatic difference. If we hit Command D, we can see where we started. Hit Command D again. Oh, there are a couple of other ways to do this. You can hit this global setting here. It's the bypass color grade. It will do the same thing. Clicking on the number on the node we'll do the same thing as well. Again, I just like to use Command D. It, it kind of, it doesn't reset anything, it just shows you where you started versus where you are at the moment. Next, I want to alter my midtones a little bit. And to do this, we're, we're going to do, we're going to use the gamma dial and lift that up a little bit. I think that looks pretty good. We're also gonna change the saturation. I'm gonna hit 75 in here enter and be done with that and that's given us a pretty good degree of saturation and contrast which has essentially to this degree normalized this footage now one thing you will notice if you if you look over here at your waveform at your scopes you do see that there is a, a obvious color cast to this photo and the color cast is red you can see that red line is kind of above everything else now, if you turn off colorize, you won't see that in your waveform. If you're using non-colorized waveforms and you notice a color cast and you want to kind of dial it in, you can go up to your video clip here in your display, right click on it, go to show picker RGB value, click on that. And as you kind of flow over the video clip, you can see what the differences are. You will notice here in the, in the wood that the red is a dominant color and it's okay, it should be dominant there. We're gonna go back over here, click on this, I'm gonna colorize them because I want you to be able to see the difference here in the waveform, what happens as the actual color changes are made. Now, to affect that, I could go to my gamma and just pull it away from the red. The issue with that is it can introduce some other colors into this that I don't want. So I'm gonna to go to my color bars right here. I'm gonna to go to gain, and I'm just gonna pull that down a little bit, right about there. And that's going to give me a little more balanced look. And as you notice here on the waveform, the red is pulled a little closer. It could be a little better, but I'm pretty happy with that. Now that we've normalized this video clip, it's time to move on to a creative look. And we're gonna do that by creating another node. Now again, I like to use shortcut keys, so option S is going to be the way that I'm going to do it we can delete that there are there is another way to do it you can go up here right click on this node add node add serial so there you have it we're going to go back to this first node let's label it balance hit enter we're going to go to this second node the one that we're going to be working on now we'll right click on it node label we're going to call this one look one thing, when you're working with multiple nodes, do keep in mind that whatever node is outlined in red, that's the node that you are currently affecting. Now, to kind of example this, we know for a fact that we just made several changes to our primary wheels. And as you can see, they've all been reset. It's because we're working on that node. If we turn this off, 
we go over here, we see that the parameters we set in on this node, they're all right there. We're gonna go back over here. Let's turn that on. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go down here and I'm gonna boost my contrast up a little bit. I'm also going to increase my pivot. It's gonna give me more clarity in the contrast. Whereas if you look at the waveform right now, it, it's a little spread out. As you notice, as I raise the pivot, it's going to kind of compress that. And what it's going to do is essentially localize it versus allowing it to just completely spread out. Pay attention to that waveform. See how it's kind of collapsing in, closing those gaps. That's exactly what we want. Now, the next step in this creative look is going to be that I want to introduce a little bit more blue. To do that, I'm going to grab this pivot point and just pull it over a little bit into the blue. Right about there, I like that, I think. It's going to add some blue into the face, into this post, into this post. For the next thing, I'm going to go to my lift. I want to boost up some of these colors just a little bit. Introduce a little more red back into it. Just to scooch in the blue and the shadows. The last thing we're gonna do here in this primary color wheel panel, we're gonna alter our mid detail. And what that's going to do is it's going to allow us to emphasize some of the, the detail that we brought out. To do that, we're gonna raise it up, not too substantially, but around 3940, I think should be good. Let's do it right there. And so what that does again is it allows us to see the grain in the wood, the wrinkles in the rhino's face. If we hit Command-D, this is where we started just a few minutes ago. Command-D again takes us to where we are at the moment. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, please do leave them in the comments. I would love to answer them. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time.